some squid baits up. Let's just open this. Okay, there's so many ways you can do squid. I'll do it mainly from the shore. So you've got your whole squid, which you can either just whip up and then uh, stick on your hook, which is what we'll do first, okay? So I tend to have the tentacles against the body. I know some people like to keep them off so that you uh, get more movement while it's out there. So just give it a good amount of elastic just to hold it all together, squeeze the juices out, throw it way down. I say good for all manner of species, a whole squid. squid with that you get your hooks I'm going to use a penalt one for this because it's a large squid so, okay, it's good from shore or from the boat this one Let's just bring the knife out of the way so, okay so in at the tail maybe you can see that there we go pull it out where it comes through. Pull your line through so that you're coming through the bait. Go back in at the same point and repeat this process until you're at the bottom of the squid. So it comes out again. Pull it through. You're effectively stitching the squid with your line. So back in the same hole. Come back out dogs are bothering you I find leave your hook about here keeps a lot of them off but you'll probably get quite a few false bites where they're just nabbing on the head but for this purpose we'll show it all the way down okay back in through the head pull it out and like so now you can leave it single hook but with a squid this large, I like to use a, a panel hook. So, in it like so, bring it in through the top. Always give quite a few turns of bait elastic at the beginning of the bait at the top here. It's good, especially if you're casting, because it takes some of the strain. So, there we go, one whole squid with panel hooks. The other thing I like to do, again, I like to get a lot of uh, smell out there quickly, is just cut that tail off. That way you've got it oozing at the end, it's flushing through the squid. Some people remove the head, but for this purpose I'll leave it on. It leaves a few bits moving on the end. A bit of movement in the water never hurts. So there we go. One squid with panel hooks. Okay, so something else I like to do with squid, especially from the shore, gets a lot of fish I find, gets a lot of stink out there and it's also a tough bait being squid. So get your whole squid, get a pair of scissors or a baiting knife, whatever you prefer to use, I prefer scissors, and just cut it straight down the middle, like so. I'll remove the head for this, we don't need that. Okay. So you're left with two halves of the squid body. Okay. Get some uh, bait elastic. And whip them back together. This way you've got an opening, there's a lot of scent oozing out everywhere. But at the same time this keeps it really streamlined and it's good for casting. Especially if you want a bit of distance or something, it sits behind a lead nicely, especially Namix leads. They've got a nice flat top, a bit more aerodynamic. I find they certainly give me a few extra yards anyway. So anyway, okay. 
So that's your elastic on. First hook, okay, like last time, in at the top and you can thread it through. Or for these, I tend to just push it in the end and then thread it on like a wood worm. Oh, bit fiddly, bit slimy. Okay, there we go. Okay, you've got the line running through the middle. It's nice and simple. Then get your panel hook. Give it a couple of turns. In at the top, out on the side. And there we go. Good streamlined casting bait right there. Okay, so other ways of doing squid, taking the middle out, taking all that out, don't need that. Lots of baits are really simple, just cut some strips of squid. And they, sometimes people whip them together at the top, it creates like a little flapping thing on the end of the hook, or just good like that. Just hook it on the end a couple of times, nick it through, and just lower that down. We'll fire it out short distance. You can whip the, uh, like this, you can just whip it to the hook as well. Okay. Any smaller predatory species, they love a bit of movement in the sea. Even in the Bristol Channel they find it. Okay, so there you go, strips of squid as well. Always good, especially on small hooks for things like wrass and whatnot. Uh, yeah, good bit of movement on it. 